Do you want to build a snowman? Your company is overdue. I'm talking to the pictures on the wall. Oh my god, what am I drinking today? Woo! Hello, friends and other friends. Today Wait, we have a special... I get it, I get it. I'm to try to do it. The costume change. Welcome back to the Genus <laughs> Brewing Channel today. <laughs> we were uh, prompted on one other video to do a, uh, a something about our Count Chocula beer, which we mentioned about. <laughs> So here we are, because we're drinking this beer, and it's in the middle of December. Yes. That is a lie. Hence the nipple. Hence the nipple. The nipples. <laughs> it's October, and you know what October means. We put cereal in beer. Let's just tell you how it tastes. It smells like a big boozy beer. <sighs> tastes like a big boozy beer. So, fun story about this beer. We actually did it on ours, slash mostly Tim's, um, five barrel unitank, um, which we currently, if you have seen other videos, know that we boil on a 30 gallon system. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, so this Not was a really. long succession of several brew days, um, and it basically ended up turning into a partial mash style, so we have one mash that was done with the Count Chocula cereal, and the rest of the mashes were done as extract batches. I think we did four batches total. Four batches yeah, total, to yeah. Fill this thing. So it just goes to show, you can pretty much uh, work with uh, any tools you got to make stuff happen. It's not going to be efficient, but you can do it. Yeah, and uh, if you want to see more about the unit tank that we're using back there, I know some people have asked about it. Uh, let us know in the comments. We'll probably do another video on that. Uh, but for now, let's kind of do a rundown of what our strategy was in brewing five barrels of beer in a 30-gallon kettle. So first off, we did condensed boils with extract. That saved us time and allowed us to not have to do closer to six batches instead of the four. And uh, also, uh, it meant that we could uh, boil some water ahead of time, get it in the fermenter, and then actually uh, drop the temperature of that water so that we could just rack right onto it because the temperature is glycol. And them, so. we, that, this helps us in two ways. One, putting boiling water in the fermenter does help to sanitize the fermenter and all the little bits and crannies in between. Uh, and then it also um, does a little bit to demineralize that water as well. Our water is fairly hard and so... Also uh, dechlorinate. Dechlorinate. Uh, that's a very big, important. Big thing here. Yeah. Uh, and that is a, that's something that only happens when you have a diatomic, yeah, diatomic chlorine uh, in your water rather than chloramines because chloramines do not go away to boiling water. Bad stuff. Uh, and this beer is very, very dry for actually how big it is, uh, 9.8 or something like that. And, oh yeah, 9.8%, yeah. uh, and that part of that has to do with how many, how much roast grains are in it. You can tell that there's sweetness, there's residual body in, in the beer, um, but there's not a lot of, like, crystal middle malts that go... Yeah, there's not, the yeah, the only thing I think was some crystal, like, 90 actually that I had too, which yeah. is actually going to give you a little bit of that roastiness even. Uh, with that, but yeah, that's the only sweetish malt. Otherwise, it was a combination of some roasted barley, I think some Black Prince, Carafa, Midnight Wheat, the whole gamut of dark stuff uh, without getting too heavy on both the roasted barley and the black. Recipes are down below. Yep. And uh, so really, really dark, um, still rich beer, I would say. Um, dried out nicely for us. Just tastes like a really robust stout. And the uh, coolest thing about it is that you can actually mash with cereal. And most cereals are just corn-based anyway, and so a lot of the uh, a lot of the base of cereal is just like adding corn to your beer. It's gonna turn into Sugar. sugars and <laughs> and go away. But then there is uh, there is cocoa powder and chocolatiness on the outsides of the of the Count Chocula cereal and in the marshmallows. So overall, that whole part of it was fun to do, but didn't add a whole lot to flavor. Yeah. <laughs> it's just kind of like a really nice, robust stout. It's a, yeah, it's basically like a mellowing Russian Imperial stout, and, and at almost 10%, this will taste phenomenal next year. Uh, if you guys have any ideas of what we should age it with slash on, let us know. Down below. It's huge! Uh, yeah, we just wanted to let you guys know about the Count Chocolate beer that we brewed. And Chocula, you can also- Only had five pints. Only had five pints? Yes. It, that's it feels very warm in here though. Yeah, are you feeling hot? I don't what, know. We got naked after four pints, so till next time on Jesus Brewing. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> um, oh, it's not good at all, but I'll see what I can do. All right.